Hey there, welcome back to Andrew Channel International. I am Andrew and today we play some Hearts of Iron 4, Arms or Tyranny. So the arms are there. Look, we are building up uh, uh, quite a good stockpile. And in the last episode, we managed finally, finally to close a very painful chapter, the war against the Allies. So if Paris felt uh, really very, very quickly, UK was not so easy for me. Uh, that's because I made some mistakes in Africa, I have to admit, uh, in, uh, in uh, Ethiopia, in Somalia, in Libya, and then I risked to get invaded several times on the islands. But I think that the best move that I could do was to invade Spain, take the control of Gibraltar and then um, bring my fleet here in Calais. And, and then I had the full control of the sea in front of Portsmouth because the British fleet was in the Mediterranean, so they would have had to pass the Swiss uh, Channel, then uh, of course navigate uh, south to South Africa and then up again and that takes really months. So that was pretty good. Not so easy to take everything because the British Empire it's not that uh, weak. But now this part is done, so I'm very happy about that. The peace conference was not the cleanest in the world either. Uh, for example, we didn't manage to get Cairo, we didn't manage to get Sinai or, or uh, some regions here in Egypt because just because we didn't manage to, to get as many victory points as we expected. So the German Empire managed to conquer Poland, of course, completely. We got Greece, we got um, uh, all the African uh, colonies except for a couple of, of them. We got the UK, France, uh, Iceland and now all Canada. By the way, also huge access to natural resources with Australia and the old East Indies of uh, the Netherlands that are the Italian East Indies. Still, this is not enough to say, okay, that we have all the Mediterranean and having the Mare Nostrum ambition, of course, uh, this is something that will bring, and now you know it, right? You, you could expect it, will bring the Italian Empire against the German Empire at a certain point. But now the German Empire can come so can, can be useful if they declare war on Stalin because uh, we need my, our two enemies to fight to each other while we watch. In the last episode, I also started building up some, okay, let's unpause, some uh, better um, industry, industry plans. And now we are building the basic medium tanks and we have also improved the light tanks, uh, which is great. What we have to do now, we have to work a lot so that we can integrate this material in our templates. I think that this is it. That's it. Vanishing very frosting troops. What happens here? Aha! The, give the German protectorate of Denmark military access. Yes, I want to do that. Maybe this is going to create some attrition between Germany and Italy and break the non-aggression pact that I signed, can I say by mistake, without thinking too much about the consequences? Yeah, but I did. Let me check if I can do something here. Well, having, um, having the Marines is not a bad idea. I should start working on them. Now we close also the Air Forces. Uh, no, I don't want your divisions. Look at this, I am so silly, I completely forgot the um, spirit of, uh, of the air forces, completely forgot. Completely forgot. Okay, for the Navy, Let's see, I mean, I, I really don't care too much. But for the air forces, yeah, I do care. And I didn't check uh, yet uh, all the attack profession office of flexible organization. All right, it, that's not bad. Do I have only Badoglio still here? Yeah, it seems so. Now that you have 2.6 million um, manpower, I'm moving back my recruiting policy Two steps uh, backwards because I want my industry to push as much as possible because I don't want to attack now the Soviet Union. I want to prepare to attack Germany and the Soviet Union at the same time and maybe the United States. So 
I need to um, I need to think a little bit forward. Now what's going on here? The Navy is spending 80k per day. Why? Because probably we have here the Black Sea and we have also here the Mediterranean. So those guys uh, can stop their missions if they are having any. All right. Actually, this fleet could go really to London. And the others can just wait. Okay. So, now, we need to see if you have the chance to uh, create some... encirclements. Because I think that it's should not be that difficult and soon we are gonna get more troops here the auto transportabile can be edited to be honest because uh, right now that's quite simple we can bring more uh, trucks and infantry here and i could also add for example a motorized artillery let me check okay i don't have uh, all those trucks available what else can I do? Need to build more trucks. <laughs> That's the bottom line. The new Roman citizen. Compliance plus 5%. Resistance target minus 10%. Which is very good. Um, after this... We go to the Iberian protection, I think that that's not so interesting. Let's go to the Italian legions that gives plus speed uh, to our troops. And by the way, what I can also do, I should just, if I were go uh, towards Portugal, it would take 15 days. I have to check. Yeah, but I, I think that I'm going to do that. I'm going to conquer Portugal right, uh, right away. Okay, if I manage to to push here, I'm very happy. The Finnish continuation war. Yes, sir. Following the defeat in their previous war, now Finland declares war again and Germany declares war. Okay. Now things are getting funny. Now things are getting fun. Because Germany has broken the Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact, um, which leads us... Uh, the point where we say okay Avanzate. let's see we can counter attack now right i just need to see what i'm missing i have enough trucks now wow okay i have 25 division of of infantry on those guys here we give them uh, baldassarre we move them now to portugal and they will have their first mission will be to uh, take the control of Portugal. That's their first mission. We are uh, too many here, you see. Really. Leningrad is already fallen. <laughs> Come on, Leningrad has already fallen. Finland, uh, uh, Finland here played a really, a really interesting card. I would say that's funny. That's really funny. Let's move um, those guys here. That's wonderful. And our Air Force, where is it? Here we go. Here they are. Okay. Well, uh, now with Germany pushing uh, also, I think it's going to be quite relatively easy for us. 
So let's edit now the reserve uh, divisions. Uh, we are going to put here more infantry battalions because that's uh, uh, that's what we can do. So we turn them actually in infantry just with some art instead. And we could enter also uh, some artillery if it works. It works. It works fine. We will just have to wait until they're filled, but this will provide our infantry with a better, much better statistics. And here we are, just we've just encircled eight solid divisions. Yes, guys, the fun is just the, the fun is about to begin. Really, this episode is going to be really fun. Promise you. Okay. How are you doing here? We're ready. So, let's start it. Just if I were gold, conquer Porto. Bam. Pronto, signore. Wondering if, if I could turn this infantry into uh, trucks. But no, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do, on the other hand, I'm taking, I don't know, what could have been probably the British or the French fleet. They bring them to Coruña, so they will uh, do the naval bombing here. And now we do another encirclement to block this guy. So you can see that now uh, the level of our troops is really low. Because they have to integrate a lot of... Uh, have to integrate a lot of new uh, soldiers and train them, so... But at least we are increasing the amount of our army. Cool. All right, we have three civilian factories now. This is important because it means that our infrastructure here was built uh, properly. What we are about to do... Let me see if I can increase. Do I need resources? No. No, I don't. So what I'm going to do here... Uh, at the moment, I have 157 military and 67. No, 154 civilian. I'm going to build now. I, I'm going to increase the infrastructure here on the Italian peninsula and Litorale. And then I'm going to build uh, always five sieve and five mil. And we keep going this way. So now the industry. Is good for a while. Oh, we go. Okay, here we go. We have the trucks now. I would like to give this to someone weak, but infantry leader, organizer, Fasca. So, what we are going to do now, I want to take. Um, those three. Four, let's say, if it, like, we manage. Yeah. Four divisions, and we try to um, do another attack uh, against Sevastopol, and then we move here the trucks. We take Crimea, we try to cut uh, um, the Russian army from behind. And we declare war on Portugal. We just uh, give the order. In Sevilla, I think I could drop uh, three fighters, nothing more. No cast, nothing. But the fighters could actually uh, serve as a shit. Ah, the Port Portugal joined the Comitern, meaning that now they are allied with Russia. Uh, that's an interesting development that I wouldn't, I didn't expect, but fine. I absolutely didn't expect this to happen. Stick Porto. Kiev has fallen already. Yeah, Germany is doing really. Germany is doing very well. I, I give uh, now to my. I give to my field marshal that the order. Let's attack everything. 
And PPU tanks, no thank you. Uh, now it's 1941, let me take the assembly line production here. And it's time to build finally a better uh, tank template. Now I have this uh, M1139, which is really bad. Um, now we go for this medium type turret with three men. I want to have a medium armament, uh, medium cannon, I want to have the best radio, and I want to have the special models, so I get the wet ammunition storage for the um, reliability, and I want a secondary cannon, right, like this. So, with that being said, more armor, and the engine that brings me to 8 km per hour, that's not bad. 89%, okay. Let me see if I can get another... Um... Wow, more armor, but more costs. Stabilizer gives me even more. M16, yeah. Let me check if I can get max speed. Yeah, that, that's wonderful. 9.1 uh, 9 kilometers per hour, 90% reliability. It's not the best one in the world, but we're going to do that. So let's take this one. Uh, we assign this to Fiat, of course. That means that we can... Uh, why did I click on auto design, my dear friend? Why did I do that? Silly me. I have to redo this. Diesel. Ah! This is giving me more reliability, of course. Yeah, but, uh, but it's slow as fuck. Yeah, this is fine. Perfect. Now in the trailer, in the trailer division, which is uh, here, um, we enter also some uh, medium tanks. Like this. We get uh, our motorized recon. We can save. Now it's 8.1 kilometers per hour. It's more. The organization is lower. Yeah, everything is more expensive. But now the shadow division guys is getting really uh, like a real tank division, and not anymore just a light tank. What? All right. All right. Uh, let's check the Portuguese. Uh, uh, take this one. That should be enough. That should be enough. And now we have the Italian legions. Auxiliari, Militia, more attack, and we have more Canicianere as uh, potentially, yes. All right. Um, all right, so this fleet here is doing now naval invasion support. If we get Crimea, we go uh, over Kerch and we take the control of the, the oil. Then I'm very happy. Pronto, signore. Perfect. So Portugal is now under our control. And I mean, I just leave this, I, I just leave the dirty job to the Germans. Okay, look at this. Sebastopol now is, uh, is falling. Okay, we got it. We got it. Go here. And we have to take Krasnodar. Quick, quick, quick. And we go to Kersh. Uh, 
That's perfect. We're losing a lot of uh, uh, troops here. We just take to this. And you Okay, I think that I'm going to give uh, basically this line now to... No, not this one. Okay, I'm gonna think about this. For the time being, I assign this very, very simple borders. That's... that's okay. Good. Let's get let's go. Now we have to go on the other side and take control of Rostov and so on. Okay, Praska, it seems that we didn't manage to, to take um, to have a, a proper order, but let's try to do it now. Something like this. And now we take also the fleet, which is going to help massively. No, not you, my friend, the big one. We'll move it here. We take Stalino, we take Rostov. Maybe if we are lucky, we might be able to take also Stalingrad. Why not? Okay, Rostov and Don is uh, now in our lovely hands. If we take Rostov, maybe we can get a uh, perch from, from behind. Good. Perfect. All right, maybe we might need some infantry here. This Cavallero. I could cancel this order and tell him to take control of this area. Without giving up an actual order, but he needs to figure it out himself. So I'm bringing the troops here and uh, slowly taking control of the area. Rocket artillery, why not? Why not? We managed to take Zaporizia. Maybe. Okay, we have the Auxiliaria, all Rome's leave to Rome. Oh, now we can't take the South American alliances because I thought that this would have been skipped, you know? Instead I've broken this. Uh, that would have been amazing because I could uh, um, have uh, received an alliance again with, I don't know, Venezuela, Bolivia, uh, Peru, Argentina, all those countries. Uh, pity, because that, that would have been really fun. Hey man, no, no, you have to attack here. The, what the heck? Why are you not doing this now? For real? For real? I, I don't understand this. Whatever. Oh, I'm playing at uh, speed 5, that's why everything was so strange uh, and, and fast. Come on, I can't believe that I cannot disembark the troops on the other side now. Okay. 
I mean, we don't need to have the 100%, but look at this. We fought already. Let's delete the miners. We have 66% because we created a lot of damage um, and we killed a lot of Soviet troops. So we will definitely have enough uh, victory points to take uh, the, um, the coast of the Mare Nostrum. Uh, and that, that's it. For, I, I don't care. I don't want to have the control of Moscow or any other... Wow, by the way, the Germans are uh, the Germans are already in Moscow. Seems that really Russia has been drained out of... Uh... Oh, crazy. Am I already done with this? Wow. The speed, guys, the speed is impressive. You know what I'm going to do? Since I'm not struggling anymore with resources, I'm actually so full of resources, which is painful. I'm going to give the free trade. Uh, plus civilian intelligence to others, plus navy intelligence to others, but a lot of construction speed, research, and factory output. Obviously, I'm gonna look at this. Now I'm gonna have a lot of um, resources that I need, but that's not a big deal because I can work on them. I, I can absolutely work on them. For example, I mean, steel. I have a lot of steel everywhere. Uh, I can import it from my. Australia, for example, can give me 44. Belgium can give me already 36. That's... Uh, and the rest I develop it internally. How? I go where I produce steel. For example, here I have steel, here I have steel, here I have steel, and I build the infrastructure. Easy peasy. That's just so simple. Okay, but by the way, another thing that I never did, but I have to start uh, excavation. This is really very important. But by doing that, okay, I, I might be slower when I have to... <laughs> I might be slower when I have to build an army, but uh, the research is faster, everything is more efficient, so... I, I transform... The resources that I'm not using into it's crazy. I can't get it. I, I don't know what they would have done here. All right. Let me see the capitulation of, of the Soviet. Ah, by the way, we are also working a lot with the um, espionage. We are uh, we finished the collaboration government at least once. That's also something that gives us uh, gives us uh, victory points. Here we go. I think we are on the other side now. Yes, we are. Perfect. Oh, finally new weapons. I was waiting for this. <laughs> Can I assign the Fiat somehow? Beretta, pardon. Yes, I, I have it already. Very good. All right. What can I say? It seems that Germany is doing an amazing job already. I have no words. And now we are working on building this uh, huge uh, um, infrastructure that will uh, increase our steel production massively. Stalingrad with our um, trucks. 
That's that's an important victory point. At least if we get one, I would be very happy. All roads lead, lead to Rome. The next one, and then we close this episode, will be... Oh, come on, where are you? Modern maskers, but we need the super heavy tank chassis. Okay. Here we need some more... What can I call them? Uh, technologies. Let me go to... Now the industrial expansion. I can have the uh, Foggia farm fields. Why not? And I'm already full of military factories that I could use. Jesus. That's complete never. I, I have no resources uh, somehow. So I think that I need to decrease the amount of resources that are using uh, steel. Yes, otherwise we are going to really to fail. That's not, that's not smart. On the other hand, yeah. Maybe I go more into airplanes. For now, we leave it as it is. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. In the next episode, we'll see how long it takes for uh, the Soviet Union to capitulate, but we are very close. The Germans are doing, again, the, the dirty uh, work, but um, we will have a lot to say when we will have the peace treaty, because we actually... Uh, managed to bring the spies in Moscow, get the collaboration government. We killed almost 3 million Soviet uh, soldiers. And then I think that also this part of the war will be done. An idea that I have in the next episode is to invade Turkey also, to take the control of this area and then finally put together Syria with Greece. So we will have a continuity of uh, the territory. By the way, I can't really check if I can click on Mare Nostrum. Not yet because I don't have Turkey and I don't have the Middle East. Sure, but uh, soon we're gonna have it. Soon we're gonna have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. See you next time.